Welcome everybody to Dream Right Go. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm DWG. Let's get it. On the last video, I was talking about why I'm going to use AI to help me with my writing and whatnot. And I introduced you to the platform that I decided to do my writing in, which is called Novel Crafter. Now, here goes something really cool that you might not know. If you're the kind of person that's not into AI, if you're not down with AI, that's cool, right? You can use Novel Crafter without the AI. It's still a writing platform. So it has a bunch of tools in there to help you along with your novel writing, short story writing, any kind of writing that you want to do. All right. When you first go to www.novelcrafter.com, you're going to be greeted by this screen right here, right? You're going to go ahead and click on the start writing today and then create your account and log in. Once you log in, you're going to have uh, this page right here in front of you and it is hecka bright. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all good, but I like to have that dark moody type look. All, you know, all the great author writers like the dark theme. If you only knew the power of the dark side. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on the profile icon and then you'll see underneath theme, you can go from light to dark and then you click on dark and bam, look at that. That looks so much better. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the first option here called open settings. Once we click on the open settings, this is where I learned about open router. So you see all these different things right here are different LLMs. So they're different chat bots, right? But the one that I found out about was open router. As you see, it says recommended. So I went with that one. Next, I'm going to go back to the profile image here, and then I'm going to click on on account and security. Now underneath the account and security, you can change your profile picture. If you want to have, when you first go in there, it's going to be like a gray man, but you see that I have my profile picture in there and my DWG. So what you do is underneath the account, underneath profile, click that, and then you can upload your profile image, whatever it is that you want it to be. Then we're going to go back and you'll see here that you also can change your password. You can change or, you know, your, your email is inside of there. And then there's also a part for security where you can do the two-step authentication or verification. And then it has the active devices and you also have your danger zone that's at the bottom where you can completely delete your account. All right. So let's go ahead back to the profile image, manage subscription. Now underneath the manage subscription, you'll see here that I am underneath the trial period day. No matter no matter what subscription you decide to get, you get a 14 day trial you can choose what plan you want. I'm going to go with the artisan one. That's the $14 one. And if you click on subscribe and you will go to a page where you can pay the money to subscribe to novel crafter, right? In this case, the $14 one, I'll be paying that monthly, but you can do annually and it costs like $140, but I believe you get a discount. If you go to annually, uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe you do. If you want to see some information about the pricing plan, plans and you know, frequently asked questions on this same page. If you go down to the bottom here, you'll see view pricing and plan. You click that and here you will see the, the comparison between the different types of plans that there, that there is. This is the one where it says artisan. And this is why I'm picking artisan for the 14. You'll see workshop chat. Now underneath workshop chat, that is a check mark there. This feature here, if I understand this correctly, this will allow you to chat with your characters. I, I think what happens is, is that the AI that you choose or whatever will take the personality of the character that you build and chat with you in, in that persona, I think. Now don't quote me on that, but that's what I believe. I think that that's how that works. Okay. And that's the reason why I'm picking the $14 one instead of uh, the two cheaper plans. But if you don't want that feature, if that's not something that sounds, you know, cool to you or whatever, then, you know, go for one of the, the more affordable plans and then go up to the $14 plan if, or when you're ready. And from the main screen, we're going to click on the profile picture again. And where do we want to go? We want to go down to feedback and roadmap. Now this is really cool. I love that they have this because this is a way of seeing uh, where the program is going, what the platform is doing and what the people uh, are doing who are using the platform, what they're thinking about. Now what you can do underneath here. Oh, they even got a new thing up there called change log. Now I did, that wasn't even there the first time when I was looking. So that's really cool. Click on feedback. You can go to a, a, a section that will allow you to give feedback. But here in the middle section, if you click on categories and go to, let's say, let's go frequently request. 
So, or, or not, not free, uh, feature request is what I meant to say. So we're gonna go to feature re request and hit top. So here you can see what feature is being requested uh, the most right now. This one has 101 upvotes. So you can read about that and say, oh, well, you know, what is this feature? Because since it has so many votes, you know, they're, they're definitely looking at it and it's marked as planned. So, you know, I think it's safe to assume that it's gonna be on its way. After that, if you wanna look into other sections as far as like bug reports and in progress, that's all right there at your fingertips and you can check that out. Next, we're gonna go back to the, <laughs> back to the profile picture again and go to documentation. Underneath documentation, you can look up different things like getting started, the codex, the workshop, just documentation about the software and maybe questions that you have. Here on community, this will allow you to connect with the novel crafter folks over on Discord. Now, I don't do Discord myself, but if you're into that type of thing and you wanna go into Discord or whatever, you can connect with Novel Crafter folks over on Discord, which I think is pretty cool. Now we can go to Contact Us, which at first a bot will pop up and you can ask your question and the bot will try its best to answer your questions. And if it's unable to, it will connect you to a live person, which is really cool, I like that. So that is it for here. So we have the open settings, we have the account and security. You have a place for managing your subscription. You can look at feedback and check out the roadmap and see what kind of bug reports are going on, or what kind of features are, you know, are on the way. You got documentation. So you can check out documentation about the program. You got community. If you're into the whole community thing and you want to go to discord, they're there for you. And then you can contact them. But I'm going to tell you something else. That's kind of cool. If you go back to where the, the main page is and underneath why and scroll down, you're going to see something here where it says because people with dyslexia and ADHD or autism deserve to be storytellers too. Tell me that ain't speaking to me. Tell me that that is not speaking directly to me. And if you are a person like me that has a couple different issues with the whole dyslexia and all that, tell me that ain't speaking to you. Yeah, I'm all about some novel crafter. You know what I mean? And I think you should get down with novel crafter too. I'm not an affiliate. I don't have no affiliate links for them or nothing like that. I'm not making that one dime for saying this. So you know that I'm like coming at you with the true true, right? Which anybody that's been on my channel, y'all know I come with you 100% with the true true. You know that. You know I don't play them games. Go ahead and try out Novel Crafter now. So on the next video, we're going to get deeper into Novel Crafter and see what's coming up next. This is DWG. Peace.